September 2023 and another beautiful market update for you today. We are going to bring a packed show for you today. Heather has just gotten back from another buffeting conference and Ken is, as usual, filled with all kinds of exciting data to share with us. Um, so it's a very interesting time in real estate to me. I don't know about what you all have been going through, but to me, I'm checking in on the MLS every day and lots of price reductions, houses sitting on the market for much longer than I'm used to. And uh, yeah, uh, just seems to me like, wow, things are kind of just stagnant and slow. And like, what's gonna happen next is the, the feeling I'm having. Um, so yeah. And just, just tell everybody what is the other feeling that you're having because the, the conversations that happen between us are just authentically what we're feeling about yeah. the market. And what did you say to me about those homes that you're seeing that a buyer could be snatching up right now? Well, I just can't, can't help think about what the future holds. And to me, I look at real estate in San Luis Obispo County and it just looks cheap to me. It looks like, oh my gosh, these prices are, are lower than they should be. And by the end of 2024, 2025, it's gonna be a completely different ball game. We're gonna look back now and be like, man, those prices were so low. Yeah, yeah, you you had, I think you had specifically said about two different houses that we were talking about. I just can't stop thinking what the list price is going to be for houses like this in 2025. Yeah. And that's one thing that we all feel very confident about is that over the long haul and any time in the near future, the upcoming years, prices are gonna be higher than they are now. So having said all that, uh, I actually haven't looked at the stats yet for this month, so I'm super interested to see more than just what my feelings are and what do we actually have going on? Too bad, I'm gonna keep you waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Since I just got back from the Buffini conference, I wanted to talk about that first. It's a lot more exciting than the stats. Okay, fair so, enough. So for those of you that don't know, Buffini and Company is the largest coaching and training company in the U.S. and they follow the national stats and trends and accurately project what is coming up for the marketplace over and over again. They have a nearly 30 year history of accurately predicting what is about to happen with the market. So it's always interesting to get their take and especially to get their take live. And basically the big news from them is that we all keep talking about we've kind of topped out with rates, we've topped out with rates, things are gonna change. And what they said is that in their opinion, the Fed waited for too long to raise the rates. So we saw inflation get way out of control, it went on for too long, and they're just slow to react. And now we're on the opposite end of that where we're waiting for rates to come down and the Fed is waiting too long with inflation officially under control at about 3%, we should be seeing the rates come down. Unemployment's at 4%, the economy overall has the factors that would point towards the Fed lowering the rates and they're still just waiting. But it is coming, it is gonna happen. And when that happens, we're definitely gonna see a change in the market. So our advice to buyers, looking at the 2025, what we all know what's gonna happen, don't wait for too long. Don't be like exactly. the Fed. Don't wait until 2024, 2025. Uh, right now might be a great opportunity to snag a house that's sitting on the market, like one of the ones, just you know, contact Colin if you wanna know which ones he's been eyeballing. And yet the rates are still over 7%, so it might be just enough to sideline you if you're thinking about moving up or if you're a first time buyer. And if that's the case, then our advice is to prepare, to be ready so that at the end of this year or the beginning of next year, when the rates drop, you can pounce. So if you need to get your house ready, do a little bit of prep around the yard, touch up paint, that kind of thing, that can be a good way to prepare. Um, if you're a first time buyer, don't overspend for the holidays. Don't renew a lease for another year term. Go to month to month. Exactly. Just get all those affairs in order for being ready and if you haven't talked to a lender about where you're going to qualify once the rates do drop into the fives then ken's your guy so contact okay. him for that um so with that said stats just refer to last month they're not that different <laughs> just kidding california or yeah california regional mls um for slow county residential inventory remains at five months 
229 closed sales, 12 days median on the market, all kind of the same, the same, the same as the past few months. And then we did see prices backslide a little bit again to 810,000. So that's what we have for stats. And that's really all that we need to say about that. There's nothing terribly exciting as far as stats go. So with that, Ken, <laughs> tell us your really exciting news about where Yeah, rates, rates are, are so different. Um, <laughs> The sarcasm obviously implied. So <laughs> rates are basically the same as our last report. They're in the mid sevens to the low sevens, depending on qualifications, of course. But the biggest common thing that I read and follow is that we are at the crest, meaning rates have kind of hit the peak and that's probably where we're gonna be for the foreseeable future as we come down. CPI will come out, consumer price index will come out this Wednesday and then producer price index will come out on Thursday. It's anticipated those are gonna continue to fall in line. We're currently at three, 3.2%, the Fed's target's at 2%, so we're not that far out of their target. Um, so as Heather mentioned, and Buffini thinks that the Fed waited too long, and now they've overshot it, is the current uh, opinion that I have followed and agree with, that they have overshot it, and they're still remaining hawkish, meaning they're gonna, oh no, we're gonna wait and just see, and <laughs> we might hike again. But I don't think that's really going to happen. I think they're going to go on a pause for a bit and that will ultimately trickle down to us. And I do think it is a buyer's opportunity because of the lack of competition currently being seen based on people being on the sidelines. As rates cooperate, it's going to become more and more of a seller's market. So we will look back and be like, oh God, I wish I would have bought September of 23. <laughs> I assure you. So it is an opportunity as hard as that is to get your head around. It really, really is because as rates cooperate, you're gonna have more and more competition and prices are gonna work against you. Yeah, as soon as rates go down, prices are gonna go up, competition is gonna go up. Without question. So to basically agree with both of you, what you're seeing, Colin, is exactly what I'm seeing with all my clients that are pre-approved and waiting and looking for the right opportunity, that I believe this is it, and, and time is actually the end. So right now, real estate is cheap compared to what you're gonna see in the future. right? So that's all we have for now. You guys have anything else to add? Nothing for now. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, sorry we're late with this market update for September, but we'll see you again in October. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.